No one wants an operation, but if you have to have one, the less invasive the surgery, the better. For patients suffering from any number of conditions, minimally invasive surgery provides the best choice for a wide range of procedures, such as laparoscopic colon and hernia surgery, as well as bariatric weight loss surgeries. In an age of unprecedented access to information, increased patient knowledge and demand is driving researchers and surgeons to find new approaches and better solutions, such as minimally invasive surgeries. Increasingly, in minimally invasive surgery, we're able to, more, to do more of our traditional surgery through small ports or tiny laparoscopic ports. Um, early on, the, the only patients that we were doing minimally invasive surgery on were patients who were undergoing a laparoscopic cholecystectomy or having their gallbladder out. But we've learned through a variety of techniques and improvements in instrumentation. We can do hernia repairs, both inguinal hernias and ventral hernias laparoscopically. Um, we can do colon resections laparoscopically, and even more advanced procedures, including splenectomy, adrenalectomy, even resecting parts of the liver. Um, there are almost no operations today that we can't do laparoscopically. When compared to traditional surgery, minimally invasive surgery can result in much less pain, swifter recovery, and lower costs, while providing an alternative for repairing and preventing a wide range of conditions. So minimally invasive surgery obviously has the advantages that it has smaller incisions, but it's not just about the scars on the outside of your body. It's about the trauma that it causes to your immune system, to your heart, to your whole body. Minimally invasive surgery also gives you the opportunity to get back to work quicker, to spend less time in the hospital, making sometimes short hospital beds more available to other patients. I had a, a long-term problem with a hernia that actually had gone on for a long time and uh, I was very leery of having uh, surgery. So um, <clears throat> doing it this way, uh, I was able to go through it and uh, recover very quickly, miss almost you know, no time uh, from work. I actually started working almost the next day and uh, was able to uh, get back to my usual routine, so that was great. I was only in the hospital for the day of the surgery and a day and a half afterwards. Um, I came home on Easter Sunday. Um, I'm able, I was able to eat. I was able to do any of my normal activities. I didn't uh, need the pain medication. I only took pain medication for four days after I came out of the hospital. Uh, so the pain level was <clears throat> very minimal. Proactively seeking to improve the overall value of patient care through promoting the adoption of access to minimally invasive surgical techniques, the Society of American Gastrointestinal and Endoscopic Surgeons, commonly known as SAGES, represents a community of over 6,000 surgeons that bring minimally invasive surgeries to patients worldwide. SAGES is really the Society of American Gastrointestinal and Endoscopic Surgeons. It's a society that was started more than 30 years ago to really promote the science, the technology, and the training uh, to provide better patient care in the field of gastrointestinal and minimally invasive surgery. One of the things we hope to do is empower patients, empower patients with knowledge um, and some background of what options there are available to them. Um, we're seeing some problems with penetrance of laparoscopic surgery or minimally invasive surgery. And we, we feel as though if we can empower the patients, form the patients, that these are options that they need to discuss with their doctors. Um, that they can recover faster, limit their time in the hospital, um, less pain, faster return to their normal activities and faster return to work. We think we can provide some significant benefit across the country. SAGES, now a leading surgical society, improves the quality of patient care through research, education, innovation, and leadership in gastrointestinal and endoscopic surgery, setting clinical and educational guidelines to enhance patient safety and health. So MIS had a very direct impact on my life because this was my first surgery. Hopefully, you know, I won't have any more. And this way I was able to recover quickly, get back to work quickly. But for, for anyone, it provides an alternative that they can more comfortably approach and, uh, and have less fear about approaching surgery, get their critical things done, and, and be comfortable that they're more likely to get back to work, I think, in a very rapid manner. 
Well, I think the more educated they are, the more they will figure out that you would definitely want to have this type of surgery versus the traditional um, invasive surgery. Whether you are a patient, referring physician, or hospital administrator, find out more about improved patient care and minimally invasive surgery at getwellsooner.org, a project of SAGES. SAGES, leading the way for minimally invasive surgery. For more information, please visit us online at getwellsooner.org.